Hey guys, this is Richard at Reefs.com. Thank you for joining me on this video. We're here in Reef Palooza Orlando 2024 at Geo's Reef booth. And I'm here with my good friend Gio. How are you doing today? I'm great. Very excited to be here. First of all, thank you for having me in this booth. And You're I understand that we have a brand new product to showcase at this show. We do, we do. We have our revised algae reactor. So it's an algae only. Before we used to have an algae slash turf, turf scrubber. scrubber. Right. But we wanted to bring the price down quite a bit so more hobbies more. could get into it and use it. Right. So we reduced it quite a bit. So this one is $549. So like that's almost like $200 in price reduction. It is, it is wow. quite a bit cheaper. I see that from first look, I could see a couple of things right off the bat, things have changed. For example, the light, the spectrum of light have changed. Correct. As well as some of the intake, you know, like over here before it was one down here. Correct. That you could flip for different variation, uh, different applications, right. right? So everything is now up here. So tell me what changed on this unit. Well, the, the biggest one that you see right away since the lights are running is that we changed the spectrum from a 65K slash 5K to just a more of a red, a red spectrum. Now, even though you see red light, there's actually a blue light mm -hmm. also in it. Right. So we have two 30 watt yeah. uh, made by Reef Bright. LED strips. The most interesting thing is traditionally algae reactors will have a central bulb. Right. This has external lights. So when you remove the light, it makes a natural viewing window so you can see your algae growing inside. To see if you need to harvest or not, or if Correct. the algae itself is growing or not. So you could adjust the flow if needed. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Now, the one thing that I wanted to ask uh, was that because it is an external and then people have been saying you shouldn't put lights directly on the fixture itself because it could cause um, acrylic to weaken over time. So what is your solution to that? Okay, that's correct. Now, there's two things that can degrade cast acrylic. Yeah. And that would be UV light, which LEDs, this yeah, has zero, right. zero UVC. So it's yeah. not like a UV sterilizer. So we don't right. have to worry about that. The only other thing would degrade it is heat. Temperature, right. Right? So how do we get away from an LED lamp up against the acrylic to degrade it? Well, in this case, there's twofold. I mean, this is doesn't really even get hot to the touch. Right. Second thing is that this LED bar does not touch the ac acrylic tube, all right? And even if it does get, and it's going to put some heat off, right. we've put a natural vent. So it's a vent that actually, if you look very closely on the bracket, right there. there's a yeah. hole here, all right? And there's a hole up top. So when the right light here. strip is attached to the holder, and I'll try to show you here, it doesn't touch the acrylic. It sits in a little shoe. Mm -hmm. And so when it snaps in, you can now see that there's a vent here. You know, we all know that heat rises, so right. fresh air is going to come from the bottom through the vent and come outside. So the tube mm -hmm. is not going to heat up. We've even done tests where we put heat sensors on the inside of the tube, yeah. and there is a slight amount of heat, but nothing that's going to make any difference, especially when you have water running through the reactor. Right, right. Gotcha. Now, so let's open this up and t can you show us how things have changed internally? Sure. So first of all, the lid obviously has an input-output. Right. Um, with easily, you can isolate the valves, remove the tubes, and not have them connected for serviceability. Right. The lid has a built-in, also removable with three screws for yeah. maintenance uh, screen so that your algae doesn't come outside of the reactor. And you can see the exit port here is behind the screen. Moving to the interior, it's a one-piece, two-tiered yeah. section where normally the water is flowing in here, comes down the tube, and then comes out this port, and then it's going to push up through your chato morpha here. Yeah. So you'll put a little ball of chato here, a little ball of chato here, and then slowly they're going to both grow upwards. Right. And then, so you can see inside, I mean, the, the surface area inside is like it's, it's massive it's compared massive. to some of the other ones that I have seen. Correct. So we have a six inch diameter and 18 inches tall. So I yeah. mean, look how easily I can put my arm in here to clean. I'm not struggling to clean the walls or anything. Mm -hmm. It's very easy, very accessible. Compared to the last year's unit, almost like a turnkey design. 
Like you don't really need to assemble anything. No, there's no really assembly required. Like just put the lights together, you know, and put it up, and then that's it. That's it, really, yeah. Put your catamorpha on the, yeah. on the different levels and, and put it back together. Right. It's very user friendly, yeah. and the maintenance, maintenance is very important. Absolutely. Uh, it's got to be easy to, to clean it, move it. And so since we also have, you know, the lights, even though they're attached, yeah. if you want to move the reactor, yeah. you know, it's very simple to do. You just push the light up, snap it to the one side, and then it's got a slip, slip for the right. cord. Mm -hmm. So very easy to use, very easy to assemble. Gotcha. And once again, how much does the unit cost, and is it out in the market already? So we just posted it on the website yeah. uh, on Friday. Friday. And so it is available and ready to ship, mm -hmm. and they are $549. $549, gotcha. Now, is, for those of, uh, people that's watching this at home, um, is there any way that they could take advantage of the show specials? Or is I it would, only for the show people that's attending the show? It's only for the show people attending the show. So. <laughs> Uh, we, you know, we, we feel that, you know, we, everybody's coming out to see us, so we want to thank them, and that's right. why we give the discount, and we show their appreciation that way. So. Gotcha. Okay. So what kind of warranty does this product uh, come with? So the reactor and the lights included come with a one-year warranty, mm -hmm. um, and if you ever have an issue with the lamp, it has a very low replacement cost yeah. uh, compared to our competition. So. If the light goes out in a year or two years or four years, they usually run for many years without any issues. Right. But if it were to, it's a $99 replacement for the LED bar. So gotcha. it's, it's not bad. And do they get that directly from you or from the refrights? They get it directly from me. I stock all the parts, so I take care of that warranty. Gotcha. And you know, I'm pretty sure you guys ask, get asked all the time because you know, Geo is a premium brand. Pretty sure they're asking you when is the next sale? When is the next sale? Oh. When is the next sale Wait, for this discount? Here you go. So this is the first time I'll tell everybody. So you got sure. the exclusive. The, the there will be a sale on this July 4th. So we'll have an Independence Day sale. Gotcha. And then we will have the 10% off at that time. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for having me and showcasing your amazing product. I look forward to seeing more and more renovations from you down the road. Thank, thank you. Thank you again for having me and have, hope you have a great show. Thank you, everybody. Take care.